Uh oh. Shit. <sighs> I really like this, but it's stuck. And I used an, a post to, <laughs> to try to give it more lift. I gotta stop doing that. Um, that's really pretty though. All right, this happens to the best of us. The drips, too much glaze, too hot. So we're gonna show you how to grind. I gotta call in the big guy for this one. You can buy these grinders pretty cheap, like electric ones, like for maybe 65 bucks. Um, these battery ones are a little more money. The tool's only like 100 bucks, but the batteries are like 100 bucks too. This is probably like 30 bucks. So the tool's called? It's a grinder, an angle It's a grinder, grinder. and the attachment's called? It's like a concrete surfacer. I don't know what the name okay. of it is, but it's got diamond in there. That will last a lifetime of okay. doing stuff like this. It's like 30 bucks, maybe. Okay. But you could get an electric one or a battery one, so whatever. I mean, I use them a lot, so I have a nicer one. For this, it's a um, it's a tile cutting blade, and it's much better for like more delicate, delicate uh, things. So I can't always predict how this will turn out because these glass blobs, when glass contracts, it has different pressures in it. Some of them just burst, but some of them you can get down pretty good. So it's kind of a you know we just do our best to salvage what we can and clean up what we can. Sometimes it goes disastrous, and sometimes we get away with it. Give let's, it a shot, though. Let's hope for the best, and yeah. don't forget to put your goggles on. Yeah. So I think we should take this the rest of the way on the diamond disc on the wheel. But we got most of the heavy things off and got it cleaned up pretty good. So with a hand sander and the diamond disc on the wheel, we should be able to get it the rest of the way. Nice. So it sits perfectly flat and looks a lot better too. pretty good Bring it here. I think we'll leave the rest of that for hand sanding now I'm just gonna clean up the edges a little bit um, some of these globs Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not bad. I mean, that was pretty bad off, so I'd say that's a pretty good save. All right, here it is, the final product. It's um, three times of frosted lemon by Mako, 
and then two and a half times of Muddy Waters by Mako. So the Muddy Waters, I will um, post a picture of the glaze job that I did because I always take notes and photos. Um, but anyway, the Muddy Waters, the it was two times all over and then the, I call it two and a half times because I only went to about here with the third coat. Um, but it still ran a ton, obviously, right? So I really, really love this. It's beautiful. And he did a wonderful job with grinding. It, it's just nice and smooth and it was a good save. So there you go. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like the glaze combo. I would definitely go lighter on the muddy waters next time. Um, maybe just two coats even. And if you do do a third coat, maybe just like to here, you know? So that's it. Thanks for watching.